Welcome to my tutorial on Gleam Labs Cosmetics Odorless Nail Liquid Monomer. Today for you I'm going to be demonstrating a pink and white sculptured nail. I have placed my white powder in my Dappen dish here and my pink powder and then I also already have my liquid prepared. So I'm going to dip my brush all the way in to eliminate any air bubbles. I'm going to gently wipe it off on the back and pull it across the surface of my white powder to pick up a ball. Odorless is used drier. So when I roll this off onto the free edge, you'll notice that it doesn't move. It pr stays pretty much where I placed it. I'm going to wipe out my brush to remove excess powder and liquid and I'm going to bend, begin pushing and pressing to move the powder where I would like it to go to start forming the free edge of my pink and white nail. I'm going to wipe my brush out again because each time I touch this powder and liquid I am drawing liquid out of the powder. I'm going to use the corner of my brush to start forming my smile line. As you can see, this product is used drier, so it stayed pretty much right where I placed it. It didn't run all over everywhere. And I'm just gently patting it. I'm going to wipe my smile line again using the corner of my brush. making sure I keep it off of the skin and shaping my free edge once again. Very gently patting it or pressing it. You don't want to be really hard on the product. You can gently, gently, gently pat it to move it. So one more time, I'm going to wipe my smile line a little bit more just to make it a little bit deeper, wiping my brush out constantly. You always want to keep your brush nice and clean to avoid it from getting sticky. And then I'm gently going to stroke the product down. Okay, wiping my brush out once again, going into my liquid, I'm going to pull across the back and I'm going to pick up a pink ball. This is going to be about a medium sized ball. Once again, I'm going to roll it off onto the center of the nail and it stays right where I placed it. I wiped my brush out on my table towel and I'm going to gently begin pressing it to move it, pressing it up towards the cuticle and stroking it down making sure I stay off of the side walls, keeping the product off of the skin, but gently pressing it to move it and stroking it to smooth it out. When using a traditional monomer, you are dealing with an instant cure. When you're using an odorless monomer, you're dealing with a slower cure and it pulls up what we call a dispersion layer. So you have to compensate when you're doing your nails for that dispersion layer because you will be filing that off as you'll see in a minute. So I'm gonna go back into my monomer, wiping off the back of, back of my brush again. I'm gonna pull across the surface of the powder here and pick up another ball. This ball is to go back by my cuticle area and I'm going to roll it off I'm going to wipe out my brush and I'm going to gently press it towards the cuticle but keeping it off of the cuticle and off of the skin, gently pressing it to move it and stroking it to smooth it out, making sure I wipe my brush. The goal is to form the nail that you would like to see as the end result. So 
So I'm pressing my brush, pressing my product out, wiping my brush constantly. I'm gonna look at it from the side, see if I'm getting the shape of the nail that I'd like to have. See how it has a nice curve down. I'm gonna wipe my brush very well. Go ahead and clean it with some monomer. You always want to try to clean your brush with the liquid that you're using and try not to use a brush cleaner because they can be a little harsh. So we're going to close up our powders here because we don't want to file across the top. We're going to move that out of the way. Move our table towel out of the way. So as you can see, the surface of this is very shiny in appearance. And because it is so shiny in appearance, it's hard to tell whether it's dry or not. So the way you tell is you, you hit it with the end of your brush, you tap it, and see if it hit, makes a clicking sound. As I move back, you'll see that clicking sound disappears. So we have to wait for a minute or two for this to set up. When it's setting up, it's not dispersing this harsh chemical smell into the air. Traditional monomer dries by air cure and it has a harsh chemical smell. Odorless monomer has a slower cure and because it's a slower cure, it's virtually odorless. So it does make it excellent for spas, salons, schools, state board exams, many state boards require it. So once you get that clicking sound, once you get that clicking sound consistent, you can take your you can take your form off and gently remove it. And then what you want to do is you want to take your file. I always like to double check, just test it again, make sure it's completely dry. And then you're going to start rolling off that dispersion layer. Very gently filing my sidewalls. Shaping my free edge. And you see how the product is kind of building up right there? That's that dispersion layer that you're going to remove. So I'm going to do my lower arch. Then I'm going to use my file and begin coming up on top of the surface of the nail and rolling off that layer. Very gently filing to remove that. And once you have that layer removed, then you can file this because this will be hard like a traditional acrylic nail. on the, the excess there on off of the nail making sure I try to keep it off of the skin So once you've completely filed off the dispersion layer, then you can buff and shape this nail like a traditional acrylic nail. So I've removed all the dispersion layer off of the nail and I have buffed it and I'm going to go through and just give it a little buff and then give it a little bit of a shine to complete the nail. And there is your completed nail. So you want to use a little wipe or some soap and water to dust the nail off with. I'm just going to lose a little wipe here to clean the nail off. If you are interested in this product, the Gleam Labs Cosmetics Odorless Nail Liquid Monomer, you can find it at GL, G -I -E -L -L com, or call 877-554-2877. Thank you for joining me.